If you're anything like me, you're obsessed with doing things the right way. If you're going to do something, you want to do it right. Right? Right. Today, we're talking about the best order to watch all nine Star Wars movies, and putting that drawn out debate to bed once and for all. Now, technically, there are 362,880 different ways to watch the nine movies. We did the math. But really, there are only two truly acceptable orders. The first is by watching them in episodic order, going from episode one, The Phantom Menace, to episode nine, The Rise of Skywalker. This might seem like the most logical way to watch Star Wars, right? It follows a straight chronological line. You start with Anakin and his trilogy, then Luke and his trilogy, and then Rey and her trilogy, one after the other. But because George Lucas is a genius, <laughs> that's not the order they were made in. The other order is theatrical release order. That is episodes four, five, and six, then one, two, and three, and then seven, eight, and nine. This lineup lets you experience the movies the same way that most fans saw them, which you could argue is the way that these movies are intended to be watched. Not only that, but it's fun to see how the series evolved over time from the 70s, when every AT-80 -AT had to be handcrafted, to today, where thanks to movie magic, John Boyega and Oscar Isaac have never actually been in the same room at the same time. They don't even know about each other. So which way is best? Some people say chronologically, others say theatrically, and some say neither. Don't watch these movies. They're a waste of time. Grow up. As it turns out, the answer depends on one question. Have you already seen all the movies? If you've seen them all, I suggest you do what I did over the past couple of weeks and watch them in episodic order. It's a fun way to take everything in and see the story and character arcs develop in one sweeping sequence. This also gets the two worst movies, The Phantom Menace and Clone Wars, out of the way quickly. However, if you haven't seen the movies or have only caught a couple and you're set on experiencing the whole series, the best way to watch them is in theatrical release order. This way, you'll get to experience the twists as they were intended in the original movies, without getting spoiled by the prequels. Plus, episode one treats viewers like they already know quite a bit, so having the right context is important. There are two wrenches that can be thrown into these watch orders, Rogue One and Solo, which are not part of the main Skywalker saga. You don't need to watch them, but if you want to, Solo and Rogue One go between episodes three and four in the episodic order. So there you go, a definitive answer to a long-lasting question. Thanks for watching, and whatever you do, don't look me up on Twitter to tell me I'm wrong, because I'm not.